Hi class! In this video I'm going to show you how to do this abstract watercolor and I've already made this one up. It's a nice little trick that you can learn. You're going to need some saran wrap so I have some plastic wrap here and you will need some watercolor paper. So I have one already taped down but I wanted to show you what one of the ones that I finished looked like. This one I did with blues and kind of teals. I have a little sample here I did with purples and then in this painting I did a yellow and orange background with the saran wrap so you can see how it makes these really cool lines. So this is something that we can use for a background for a watercolor or you can use it as an abstract painting. So the first thing you're going to do is pick your colors and for this one I'm going to do this really crazy bright pink. This is opera pink. You can pick any colors you want. Just be mindful that if you're picking opposite colors like red and green, when they mix together, they're going to turn brown. So I like to choose colors that are close together on the color wheel. So blues and greens, you know, reds and oranges, purples and pinks. If your colors are too far apart, they will turn brown and muddy. So I'm just going to use these three. Now you can use two or you can use three. That's entirely up to you. So the first thing I want to do is kind of mix up my paint. I don't want to do anything with my paper yet because as soon as I get it wet it's going to start drying. And this is something that you have to do very fast. So I'm going to mix my paint up. I'm just putting some water into my little paint drops. And you guys can use um, one of these if you want. Just mix up your colors on the side first, right? That is the first step. We want to make sure we have our color all ready to go. So I'm going to make this really bright pink. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to make this purple. And those will be my two main colors. And I'm just cleaning out my brush here between and then I don't know if you can see it I have this magenta so this is going to be a really interesting one I can't wait to see what it does and I just love playing around with these watercolor abstract paintings so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the biggest brush I have so I have this nice big wide one inch and I'm going to wet my paper and I've taped my paper down so that it'll stay flat so that you can see it um, it's okay if it bows up, but just be mindful that the paint will run off the sides if it's not taped down. And you do really want your paper to be wet. So you want to use a nice thick watercolor paper. So I'm going to wet it all and then I'm going to just move that water around so it's nice and even. I don't want pools of water anywhere. And while I'm doing this, the paper is absorbing it. All right. So then I'm going to switch to a round brush and I'm just going to start with one of my colors. Let's, let's go ahead and use this crazy pink one and I'm just going to streak it in and if you've done some of my other tutorials it's very much like how we start a lot of our backgrounds. Streaking in color on wet paper. So then I'm going to go into my purple. I'm going to put some purple in there and I'm going to do my best not to mix the colors. I'm just going to let the water and the paper do its thing. And so it's going to look a lot like a sunset or a galaxy at this point. Just getting paint on the paper. And it's very wet. And I want it to stay wet. Otherwise, the plastic wrap technique will not work. So if you're wondering why yours didn't work, probably your paper dried out before you had a chance to put the plastic wrap on. So I'm, I'm using a very thick and heavy weight paper. So if you're using a thin paper, you're going to have to move very, very fast. Or cut your paper down to a smaller size. You know, use a little piece like this to play. So now it's really wet. And this is the fun part. You take your plastic wrap and you're going to set it down on there while it's still wet. Just like this. You want to smash it down. And then you want to start creating lines by pushing it together. So everywhere there's a little line, you'll see how the paint runs out. And that is where we have these white lines that kind of show up on our painting. 
So do you see how it's now forming these little white gaps? So I'm just gonna create some more and just play with it. You can keep playing with it if it's really wet. And that'll just push the paint into itself and into different directions, try and make an even one. And that's it. You're gonna have to let it sit like this overnight or until it's completely dry. Okay, and make sure you're taping your paper down to something that's washable. So that is it. And I'm gonna let it dry. And then when it's dry, you can peel the saran wrap off and it'll do this effect that's really neat. So I'll take a picture of this after it's dry and I will post it in the video in the beginning. Thanks. I hope you have fun with this one. Bye guys.